these bad guys are making money of people's compromised computers in terms of their network resources, in terms of spamming, in, in terms of uh, click fraud, all these bad things. But then the next question is, all these computers, they're great. They have network cards to make money off. This is talking from the point of view of a, a botnet. But then all the, uh, the CPUs on these compromised computers are, be, are, are idle. They're not being tapped into. So is there a way for the bad guys to make money off CPUs? And then boom, came Bitcoin. It became, it is the first instance when, where, where botnets can start seriously making some serious revenue of these untapped resources. So the first question is, what's the scale of this problem? How many people are seriously doing this? And we found that there are actually, you know, at least around 10 botnets that were trying to uh, make money off people's idle CPU cycles. And then the next question is, after answering who are these guys, is um, how much are they making? What kind of revenue are they making? And we found out that these guys were making at least 4,000 Bitcoins over the course of two years. And um, these are, this is serious, some serious money they are making. And the next final question is, what are the implications? What is the future? Is Bitcoin mining the next big thing? We will be seeing uh, fewer and fewer instances of Bitcoin mining. But this is not the end of the story because Bitcoin mining opens up a new door. So even, the, even though Bitcoin mining is getting less and less valuable these days, there are other cryptocurrencies out there like Litecoin or other coins that botnets can, can mine on compromised computers since these computers have a CPU anyways. And we believe that uh, this is Bitcoin mining is just the beginning. As long as compromised computers have idle CPUs, botnets will find a way to mine virtual currencies to make money.